Welcome. Heart disease, cardiovascular disease is a major problem worldwide. It's up on top of the list. Why? Primarily from a poor diet, being too sedentary, excessive, refined, and processed foods, just putting on extra calories in our body, turning it into visceral fat around the gut, which leads to many other complications like diabetes, clogging of the arteries, high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome, the list goes on and on. So what can you do to try to offset it? Yes, eating correctly, exercising, maintaining a good attitude as well as getting your sleep and keeping the stress down is very important. But there's one particular green vegetable, it's called spinach. I like to tell you a little bit what spinach can do for other things in your body. And then I'll explain the importance of what it can do for your heart and blood vessels. Spinach is full of insoluble fiber. It helps sustain normal glucose and insulin levels. It slows the digestion down from the stomach into the small intestine. It can also give you lots of satiety so you don't overeat. And it's an excellent source of many vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K1, folic acid, iron, calcium, as well as others. It has camphorol, the antioxidant that decreases the risk of many cancers. Quercetin, which reduces inflammation throughout your body. Spinach helps reduce oxidative stress to help fight those free radicals. This helps slow down the aging process. And when it comes to your eyes, the zeaxanthin and lutein, which are the carotenoids, which are bright in color, help prevent macular degeneration and cataracts, which is a major cause of blindness. Spinach is also high in vitamin K1, which has many functions of the body when it comes to blood clotting. And because of the high amount of nitrates in spinach, this will help lower blood pressure levels and decrease your risk of heart disease. And spinach is one of the most nutrient dense foods that you could ever eat. The fiber in there can actually lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels, helping prevent that clogging within the arteries. And the lutein in there not only helps the eyes, but it helps support the inner part of those arteries. But the exciting part are those nitrates. Those nitrates are converted to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is that gas that our body has within itself, but it diminishes over time. But that increased nitric oxide causes vasodilation of the arteries. So instead of an artery being this thin and trying to get blood through it, now it becomes thicker and wider like this, so blood can come through easier. What does that mean? That means more oxygen, more nutrients to the cells, the tissues, the glands, the organs, our entire system. So if the blood supply that's going to the coronary arteries, going to the heart, if they are narrowed, the heart will get less blood supply. If they continue to narrow, it gets no blood supply. We call that a heart attack. And the same thing happens to the brain. When that blood supply becomes restricted due to the vessels that become more narrowed, if the brain does not get its proper blood supply, we call that a stroke. But this nitric oxide lowers blood pressure. High blood pressure is one of the key factors that leads to stroke and heart attack. So you might want to consider eating your spinach. Put it in your salads, in your smoothies, wherever you like. It's alkaline. There's so many health benefits that it can do for you. And when it comes to your heart, it will love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. 